Okay, so the other day I received a phone call uh, from a friend uh, that I hear from every uh, every now and again. And one of the uh, interesting routine questions, inevitably, we would ask each other, what are you cooking for dinner tonight? <laughs> Don't ask me why, but <laughs> this topic seems to be one of those uh, relevant topics of conversation. And it's, you know, it's kind of like a fun thing. And more or less, you know, uh, my friend is usually on top of her game. Like she's always you know, pretty much de decently stocked. I mean, not overstocked, you know, with groceries or whatever. And so, uh, of course, the question for fun inevitably came up. So what are you going to make for dinner tonight? <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Okay. And uh, she was baffled. This time around, she was baffled. And I asked myself, usually there's a quick answer. This time, for whatever the reason, I'm not sure the reason, no judgment, of course, but my friend was baffled. So for whatever the reason, you know, you know, life happens, things occur unexpectedly, whatever. So she was not on top of her meal or menu planning game. So I said, well, you know, go around and look at your, you know, trusty stockpile. You know, we got into the convo, you know what I mean? So she said, well, and she didn't want to admit it, but her stockpile was rather, rather down. And, uh, you know, no, um, of course, it didn't did not pursue any, you know, questions or anything like that. So I started speaking in the first person objective case, if you will, I would say, okay, I, I, I said, well, here's what I would do. I would look to see, do I have enough rice? Do I have a favorite protein? Do I have a favorite vegetable? So like she would look in the rice department. Thankfully she did. Uh, she uh, also had some chicken which, you know, forgot about. Sometimes people forget. You know, that's another thing. A lot of times people forget. They have really good things buried in their freezer. <laughs> that's why it's important. Every once in a while, I'll take a good little inventory. So, so I helped unravel her baffling moment. So she had chicken, rice, and broccoli. That is a complete meal. You know, meals do not have to be fancy and uh, just have to be delicious. And she added her favorite spices and problem solved. I think sometimes we go a little blank or we get a little confused or we get a little bored or whatever or overwhelmed. Maybe overwhelmed is really probably, yeah, the, the good thing. Because normally, like I said, you know, this friend is usually extremely on her game. But the great news is because she always was extremely on her game, she more or less did have many things for whatever the reason, just like needed a little help venturing through the stuff. How many times before, let's say, payday, uh, you're waiting a payday or a check or whatever, and you still, you know, need to, you know, stretch the old budget without, she didn't want to go to the market, okay? She's like, no, I uh, don't want to, you know, so I want to, you know, which is the best principle, shop your pantry first, and we know that. So that's precisely uh, what she did, but a lot of people also forget that their freezers are part of the stockpile. Frozen things are part of your stockpile. I always say it, I've been saying it for many years, food in the freezer is just like money in the bank. And who can especially appreciate it? The people that are living paycheck to paycheck and they have more month than money and they need to make food for their family. You see where I'm going with this? So again, good reminders take a step back. And I like to break up a meal in that manner, a protein, a veggie, and some sort of a starch or a carb. And how much carb you have, that's up to you. But when it comes to the protein and it comes to the veggie, you see where I'm going with this, you know, obviously do what is applicable to your situation. Does not have to be fancy, but it could be there for you. So everybody, let's continue our great work of keeping on top of our stockpile and never forgetting that our refrigerators and freezers are also very much a part of our stockpile. Have an amazing upcoming weekend, everybody. Take good care. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to this channel.